Hello YouTubers, in this video, the blue pill connected to SIM module and also connected to potentiometer as a simple data source, the data value of the potentiometer is transmitted through, through SIM module to MQTT broker. It published the data to broker and the, this local computer used Node.js to subscribe to the broker and put the data into a MySQL database. Whatever the SIM module published to the broker from the local computer through Node.js, subscribe to the broker and get the database into MySQL. MySQL workbench is here. The data is here, ID and date time and the readings are here. Let's build this one. The SIM module is here. We got seven pins. We're going to use only four pins. G, R, T and V is here. We can use external power supply from the USB. SIM holder is here. LT antenna connector is here. Also, we have 3G antenna connector and the GPS antenna connector is here. The other side is like this. Wiring diagram is here. G connected to G. V connected to 5 volt. You can supply from external power source from USB also. R connected to A9, T connected to A10. For the potentiometer, both side of potentiometer connected to G and 3.3 volt, middle pin connected to B1. The wiring connection is like this. The potentiometer is here and the SIM module wiring is here. Now we can open the Cube IDE and do the programming. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Click Analog. Click ADC1. Go below. IN9. Tick. For the con configuration parameter setting, uh, we make it bigger. Continuous conversion mode, make sure it's enabled. Now we click connectivity, click USART1. For the mode, select asynchronous. And configuration parameter setting, uh, board rate is 115200. We can keep it as it is. If it is different, change to 115200. That's all the setting. We can click save. The description below of this video, I have provided a website link. When we go there, I have provided the information on the code. This one. You can read through. There is some information about uh, SIM 7600. And then the MQKT data sheet, I have pro provided the link here. When you open it, that's in the page number 31 and 32. They have given the example how to send and receive, sorry, how to send, yeah, how to publish message to the broker. It's opening here. Now when we go to page 32 and 33, the example is here and uh, they say how to do the setup and doing the things. Now I'm going to use the free broker test uh, mosquito ORG. You can open it if you want. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use. This is a free one. It's only for testing purposes. When you go below, the diagram is here. The picture is here. Cube ID setting is here. We've already done. For the code, I have given here in the user code begin includes. We can copy and paste these two lines. Copy it. Go to Cube ID. User code begin include is here. We paste it. Go there again. The user code begin zero. We copy from here until user code 
n0 is here we copy until here and then go to user code begin 0 that is here we paste it and then user code begin 2 we start the ADC that's here we paste it and then in the while loop we copy and paste these four lines copy it and paste it in the while loop and then we need to do one change for the APN I put this one for you it, it's, it may be different you can find the APN for your country from this link copy and uh, you go to the web browser and we paste it for example if it is Australia if it is Telstra APN is telstra.internet like that you can find out your APN and put it in the code in user code begin zero you change it here and uh, if you use uh, mosquito you can leave it like this if you use any paid uh, broker you change it and then change the port for the paid broker you need to put username and password and then this is the transmit uh, function and for the publish it must check for the connection if the wiring connection is okay and then it check for the network registration and if it is registered it send command one by one like this if you use the free version you use this line and I this commented if you use any paid uh, different broker you uncomment this one I mean comment this one and there's a username and password and these are the all the code I took from the uh, manual from here I just modified it a little bit and in the while loop we pull for the conversion get the read value from the potentiometer and then we publish it these are all the code we can click save and uh, we use the green button to upload the code you can straight away click ok using gdb server if it doesn't work click debugger and select the open ocd probe click show generate option go below for the reset mode is software system reset click apply and click ok it will work for the all the boards Yeah, it's all uploaded the microcontroller part is done now in this area below the search bar type cmd and you get the command prompt and click it and you can create a new folder if you want I create mkdir um, mqtt and cd mqtt they are you, you need to have uh, npm installed not js and mysql i have made a separate video which is, which is available here how to install not js uh, mysql and uh, visual studio code now we click type npm init enter i, I keep all default i'll type click enter 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 for entry point i type app.js enter 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 and all enter enter now we go to uh, node.js setup copy npm install mqqtm sql copy it and in the in here paste it this will install uh, 
locally mqtt and mysql now we can open visual studio code by typing code code dot space dot go there we create app dot js and we put this content we copy from here and until here copy it and uh, in the visual studio code uh, trust it uh, create a new file app.js enter and we paste it what's happening is uh, we require the mqtt and uh, we put the uh, option for the host and port mqtt and if it is a paid broker you put username and password and this is how uh, we get the data each time when the message is received this will call back and then and we print, print the message to the console log and we can click save and go to the uh, command prompt and type node app and enter yeah, it's connected now uh, every one minute or so we will receive the data from uh, from the sim module I will fast forward the video to get more data uh, the first message we received put ADC one this is the value I'm going to change it to high for about 4000 yeah we got second message message as well in the next part we're going to modify the code and uh, send the data to MySQL server I have received several messages and now we can stop by control C and then we in this area and type uh, MySQL workbench M by S and we get this one if you don't have installed MySQL there, there's a link here you can install using that link and click uh, local instance put your password click OK now we need to click a, uh, create a database for that this button the create schema click this one for the name for the database I'm going to give MQTT you can give anything and click apply click apply click finish and now right click MQTT and uh, sorry expand MQTT and the tables right click create table for the table name you can give anything I give I give reading R E A D I N G and for the column first one is ID and that's integer click primary key PK and uh, also MN not uh, not null is ticked NN and auto increment is ticked these three ticked and then next one uh, date time and that's a variable data type is um, date time and then um, the last one is reading and uh, that is integer int uh, sorry the table name uh, it's not reading I put stm32 make sure this is stm32 please I change it to here stm32 now we can click apply click up uh, this is how the uh, query look like apply and finish now the database and table created now we go to command prompt again uh, sorry we go to the website again this is the test code we already run now we copy the complete code with the database that start from here complete node.js code from here until here copy it 
and we go to Visual Studio Code. We delete this one, delete all of them, and then we paste the new code. This one is very similar. Instead, also, we require MySQL and the connection is here, localhost root and change the password, whatever you are using. Database is MQTT. We connect to MySQL. As before, we connect to the MQTT and all the things are same. In the client on, we, instead of console logging, we use the SQL query, query to uh, insert the data into database. Here, this is the table name, STM32. Now we can click save and go to um, command prompt and type node app node app.js or node app enter now it's connected to db now it's connected to mqtt broker as well now every one minute or so it will insert a new data whenever the data is inserted we will in the console we will get a message the database id and with the data First data received from the SIM module. SIM module published the data to the broker and the client, this local PC, subscribed to the Node.js and you got the data. The ID is here and one row is affected. Now, when we go to the MySQL workbench and the table, expand the table we have the table here and open the table the id is here the date and time is here and the reading is here 2202 thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye